Hello, yes, building a grassroots British nationalist movement. That's right, something similar to momentum that supports Jeremy Corbyn and the Labour Party. And I'll tell you why. At the moment, there isn't a British nationalist party worth supporting, let alone joining. So people are out in the wilderness and feel lost and, you know, confused and bewildered and whatever. So... Uh, people like to belong to something as well. They like to support something. They like to be part of something. Now, an independent candidate like myself, I've been standing, it's limited. It's limited. But if I was to start, say, here in Liverpool, as an example, it's not going to be, but as an example, say it was called Movement for a Better Liverpool. And it was a grassroots British nationalist movement pushing grassroots British nationalism. And what it could do, it could support and get behind independent candidates uh, who were British nationalists pushing British nationalism. It could get behind them. But before that, it can get itself well known across the city because I'm in, uh, in the process of producing leaflets that can go out all across Liverpool and not just uh, Kensington. And so they have to belong to something. There has to be a grassroots movement that I'm going to start, right? I'm going to build. And so you can join it, you can support it, but it's not a political party yet. So people then can support it, they can join it, they can tell their friends, they say, yeah, I agree with what they're saying. Uh, unemployment, Brexit, housing, uh, rubbish being tipped, refugees, migrants, asylum seekers, crime. The list is literally endless. People could say, well, yeah, I agree on the views uh, of the uh, movement for a better Liverpool. And so you become well known then in and around the city. And when candidates are fielded, independent candidates, the support and backed up by movement for a better Liverpool. I think this is the way forward for now, for now until a political party can can be uh, started. I don't know when, it's all down to money, but I'm working on that. So I believe this is the way forward and this is what I intend to do. I'm gonna build a grassroots British nationalist movement, movement for a better Liverpool, let's say, but it's not gonna be called that, but let's say people can support it, they can join it, it will, have candidates it supports, independent ones. Uh, and I think this is the way forward. Like I said, also, it gives you the ability then to address uh, many issues and also in many wards in and around Liverpool and not just Kensington. So I'll let you uh, know how this is developing because it's just, it's in its infancy yet with myself and various uh, British nationalists here in Liverpool. Okay, thank you. Our activity must be geared to the winning of power. That still has to be said to some people in our movement here in America, back in Britain and everywhere else. They are crusaders for the truth, but they don't relate it to the necessities of winning power. It cannot be said enough. Power is what must be won. First, just a little bit of power, then more power, and finally, complete power. Activity geared to anything else is a waste of time.